Hey guys, it's me again, your PCS helper, for lack of a better term. Okay, so we've talked about passports, getting your official passport, getting your visa, HHG, express shipments, and TS. So now you've done all of that, right? So now it's time for you to just pack up your office and go. So make sure when you pack up your office, you, you know, if there are any email addresses that you need of your friends, your coworkers, make sure you get all that information. Make sure that people know that you're leaving so that in case they need to contact you, they can. Make sure you email all your workers to give them your non-government email address so that you guys can keep in touch. Um, make sure, oh, I wanted to show you guys something. I'm gonna press to show that to you now. Okay, that'll be another video. Make sure you have everything you need make sure you know maybe i should pause this video let me pause this video hold on okay i'm back so i'm talking about how after you do all your pcs stuff with the move you know you're still working and you're just trying to like wrap stuff up right so you have to say goodbye to all your friends oh goodbye i'm gonna miss you all those things you're supposed to say right now it's really important that you buy yourself a binder you're going to need a binder just for all your paperwork. And so I want to show you guys my binder. So I hope I can flip this camera and figure this out. If not, I'm in trouble. Um, hmm, I don't know if it's going to work too well, but I'm going to try it, okay? It doesn't work too well. Sorry. But you need a binder to hold all the stuff, okay? Because you're going to get so much paperwork. You need, you need one binder just to hold everything. So that as you PCS, as you travel, you have everything on you. And it just makes life so much simpler. Trust me. Trust what I'm, trust what I'm, listen to me. Listen to what I am telling you. You are going to need a binder. If you're a guy or a woman, get a binder. Step one, buy a binder from Walmart. This is what I call my PCS Smooth Binder. Can you guys see this binder? It has a zipper. Um, ah! I want you to see the zipper so it can zip up, right? Because if you're holding a binder, you don't want to be like walking around with a binder that can't zip, okay? All right, I just dropped something, sorry. Oh, okay. So when you open the binder, this is what I have. This is what it looks like inside. It has a pocket. So then I bought this from Walmart. It was like a dollar. You see, it's a zip-up bag. My phone doesn't really go in there, but I'm just showing you, okay? So you have a zip-up bag. What do I put in this zip-up bag? I put like small documents such as perhaps my passports when you get to italy they'll give you a sheet of paper that has your um p.o box on it after you get your p.o box so like p.o box papers things like that that's what i have in that okay then i have this these are brown folders right and i wrote on them and then i punched a hole in them you see this is a th three ring binder but i punched two holes in them why because when you come to italy a civilian First 90 days is to do QQSA. That's a completely different video I'm gonna make, okay? You have to keep all your receipts. How are you gonna keep track of all your receipts? This way. Buy these brown little things that clasp, that have the clasp on the ends, and write. So, so I have my receipts for each month. What does that one say? I have my receipts for each month in these, in these uh, envelopes. So these are my May receipts because I just got here, right? May receipts. And then here's the clasp. You can open it up. Don't seal it, okay? Don't put your spit on it. Just seal it with the clasp so you can open it and add receipts to it. Punch a hole in it. And then you can just put it in the binder and close it. Very simple, right? Make your life simple because PCSing is tough. So, so make your life as simple as you can, okay? So then I have these tabs, okay? So let me see what tabs I have. So the first tab I have is PCS orders. Behind that tab is where you're going to put 10 copies of your PCS orders. That's right, you heard me correctly. I didn't say one, I didn't say two, I didn't say three. I said 10. Make 10 copies of your PCS orders, print them, hole punch them, and put them in your binder. Okay, so, so I have my PCS orders in this binder. Um, let me see, I'm gonna make sure I have anything that identifies me, but, but uh, basically, 
Your PCS orders will look something like this. This is the second page, okay? TQSA, blah, 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 blah. Okay. PCS orders. Next, assuming that you're working for the federal government before you left to go overseas, you should have something called return rights. Basically, this allows you to return to your current job after three or five years, okay? And there's an agreement that you're supposed to sign. You make sure you sign this agreement and your HR person signs the agreement and you have a copy of it. Even email this to yourself, okay? Email this to your Yahoo Hotmail or Gmail account so you have it. But I also brought a copy with me because they needed it in Italy because for some strange reason they didn't have a copy. I don't know why. But it was cool because I already had a copy. So make a copy. That, that's my second tab in my notebook. Look. Return rights. Okay. Next, you will have the transport agreement. From what I understand, the transport agreement is kind of like saying, hey, we're sending you to your country. We expect you to be there for like, I want to say two years. I think it's kind of, it says, it basically says, you know, if you decide that you want to return home early, there's no guarantee that we're going to pay to fly you and your stuff back to your home country. Something like that. So that's a transportation agreement. Make sure they have a copy of that signed. What is this? Okay. So when it comes to your HHG, unaccompanied luggage, and NTS, remember I told you they give you paperwork? So what I do is, again, I just created this this uh, full, this little envelope, right? I wrote unaccompanied luggage on it, and all the paperwork is inside of it. Very simple, Keep, make your life simple. So you see here, open it, and here's all the paperwork, right? Let me show you guys, I think I already showed you guys online what this looks like, on the website. I'm pretty sure I showed this to you. No? Um, well, these guys did a, hor a horrible job, but um, let me see if I can show. That's what it looks like, the inventory sheet. But they did a, such a horrible job, okay? Anyways, so, so I have this in my binder. This is what I call my PCS binder. I'm telling you guys, you need one. Just go to Walmart. Don't be cheap. I mean, come on, it's Walmart. This binder did not cost me more than five dollars. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was like four seventy nine. Okay, so I have my unaccompanied luggage tab, right? See, look. Let me show you. You guys saw that, right? And so I have my folder, that envelope in there, and then I have all the paperwork, all the emails that came with it when they're like, hey, we're gonna come move your stuff on this day. Oh, okay, thanks. So that's what I have there. Next, I have, uh, let me see. Next I have, same thing, but for household goods, okay? So look, household goods. Same thing, all the paperwork that came with the HHG paperwork is in there. Cause you're gonna need this when you get to your foreign country and you're checking your inventory. So you have to have this stuff on you. Don't forget this, just put it in the binder. Okay, so I have that. I have all the paperwork I signed regarding the HHG. After I put it in, move that mail, then they email me, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then again, I showed you unaccompanied luggage, I showed you uh what was that hhg now the same thing applies to nts all the paperwork they give you the actual movers fold up those papers and put it in this i already showed you how to do it make sure you do that guys don't be lazy some things you can't be lazy on next we have air travel this is where the copy of your your ticket goes, whether it's through SATA or whoever. You know, you'll get like your itinerary and then your e-ticket. Make two copies of each because when you land in your home country, not your home country, when you land in your foreign country, they're going to need a copy of that. 
So make sure you make two copies of the itinerary and the actual like e-ticket that you'll receive like three days before you actually travel. Okay. So I have that in the binder. What else does that say? Um, oh, you know, something else I have. I already talked about the transportation. I already talked about the transportation agreements, right? Something else I have, which I think is really important that I think people just don't pay attention to is the job offer. I think it's very important to have a copy of the job offer with you. Because you just never know, somebody might have questions about it, you know, just what was the job offered to you, blah, blah, blah. People just ask weird questions when you get to Italy. They just ask weird questions, don't ask me. So have a copy of the job offer. If you sign the job offer, you have a copy of your signed job offer, sign, signed, bring a copy of that. Also, 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 when you leave your job in America, right, every paycheck you get the LES, right, leaves in an earning statement, you make sure you print a copy of your last LES, leaves an earning statement, the one that shows how much you're getting paid, annual sick, print that and bring it with you. You are going to need it. No one told me this on the internet. Everything I read, no one ever told me. Luckily, I brought it. I'm so happy I brought it. You are going to need a copy of your LES. Why? Because sometimes, for some strange reason, it might take a while for your old sick and annual leave um, numbers, right? To transfer over to your new job. So you might have 100 hours of sick leave. But for some reason, in your new HR system in Italy, they're just not seeing it. They might take a while for those numbers to transfer over. If you have a copy of your latest and last LES, it makes everything simple. You make sure you print a copy of your LES before you leave before you leave America and put it in the binder with your job offer. Okay? And also, something I always like to do is I always like to print my um my SF50s, right? Your official like personnel notification actions. Just print it just to have just to have it. Okay? If there's anything else you have, maybe you have an organizational chart of a place that you're going to work, or maybe you have uh, relocation incentives, whatever, print all of that and bring it with you. Also, something else I did, uh, just because it was very hard for me to find information, something else I did is I created my own guide before I came to Italy because I just wasn't finding the information I needed. So I created something called Going to Italy, Amy's Guide. This... This has, its, this has its own tab in my binder, okay? So the first thing I did was, actually, this is gonna be another, this is gonna be another video. Okay, this video, let me just focus on the binder. So, create your PCS a binder. Okay, again, let it be a zipper binder. Get one of these, oops, get one of these plastic pouches to put your passport and just like other stuff pens especially put pens in here your passport photos extra passport photos that i said you're gonna need um put some foreign currency in this plastic pouch and then these you get you buy at walmart and just uh punch a hole in them so that you can put them in your binder and then like i said earlier you buy these dividers and label them pcs orders return rights transportation agreements car if you're bringing a car, any car documents that you have regarding that, put that in there as well. Um, and then your tabs regarding unaccompanied baggage, household goods, NTS, air travel, and then also if you have anything else such as relocation incentives or whatever, put that in there as well. And also last but not least, your job offer. And with your job offer, make sure you have your LES statement your leads and earnings statement, as well as your SF50. So that is what you need for your PCS binder. That ends this video.